Lawrence been smashing so much shit that his ass done got the clap. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black beat back on. Yeah. Yeah. Insecure season three episode, I don't know. A lot of questions. Dro seems to not give a flying fuck about Molly ass, girl. Molly, 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 girl. You gonna need another one. This shit that Dro um, taking you through is gonna be a lie. Issa seems to be getting together, but guess what? Guess what? Come on, Selena Johnson. She done ran into Lawrence's ass, and Lawrence looking like, I ain't been doing too much. Yes, you have. Lawrence has been getting it out. Like I've been telling y'all, that's the back breaker of the Best Buy shirt wearing individual, and he been doing it up. He been doing it, doing it, doing it round, and apparently, he been getting it. And um, he telling Issa that that's how I be, that's how these niggas be like, what you been up to? Being a hoe. And ain't nothing wrong with being a hoe, but just be honest about your hotation. Let us know. But Issa seems to be in her element. She laying up with uh, Prison Bay, um, aka Jeremy Meek's brother. <laughs> Girl, what's his name? I can't think of his name. He gonna be Prison Bay because his ass is in jail. She laying up with Trey. Trey said, I really like you. That shit hit me. I was like, this is so beautiful. Like, she, he really just said, I really like you. And that's how the love happens. And I need to know if that shit real. Like, he was saying like he really like her. But girl, what do niggas do after they tell you they really like you? <laughs> and they switch leg figures. But girl, she disappeared. Prison Bay disappeared. Lawrence, uh, like, Lawrence is back in the picture talking to Issa. Issa don't know what to do. Just a whole bunch of shit going on and it's just life. Issa seems to be finding her life. She wants to be working on her little project. She's trying to get some stuff together for the things she's working on and her boot thing that inspire her. But now he done ran off on the plug twice and she don't know what's going on. She texting him, he ain't responding. And she like, what's the tea? So she getting phone calls like, girl, we got an investigation of some shit that happened. Like, doom, doom, girl, we finna be on law and order, criminal intent, not SVU. Then we got Molly. Let me go ahead and talk about Molly because I'm, I'm sick of Molly. I'm just gonna do a thorough drag of Molly. Molly, how in the fuck is it always when somebody you know, tries to treat you right, you are not interested. But the moment that somebody else do you wrong, you go back to the person that you wasn't interested in in the beginning. And y'all ain't finna do that shit. Let me tell y'all, ho, because I'm, I'm just getting winter time and you, you motherfuckers gonna want a thick nigga, keep your ass warm and keep your light bill down. Let me tell you, rag glass, you raggedy bitch. Molly is garbage as fuck. Molly is one of those individuals I done talk to her like, okay, you second best. Like, Molly, I think Andrew is a nice guy. Now, Molly says she does not want to date anything other than black, which I don't blame her. But, girl, you're single, like Kelly said. And what do you have to lose? Just some time? You can go out, get you a free dinner. Bitch, get you some free lunch. Get you some free conversation. Like, like what can? what's the worst can happen? And I think that sometimes what the energy in the universe is trying to tell us that sometimes what we think, what we want is not necessarily a good fit for us. We don't know what the fuck we want. Look at us humans, period. We, we can't even figure out how to live in harmony, bitch. The avatar state type shit. Like, something that, he, that, that Molly won't, she might cannot conceptualize it or whatever the word is. She can't see it. And this might be it. And she doesn't know if this person, she got to teach him about red beans and rice and all this type of shit. Give it a chance. I mean, girl, like, you might just... You gave these other people some chances and look what has happened. So what's the worst thing? It doesn't mean that you're going to get married to this man next week. You have control, but at least try it a little bit and see where it goes. And Molly just ain't interested. But the moment Dro told her he ain't fucking talking to her as he ain't interested, she want to text. And you did the same shit with that dude who told you he had one escapade with a um, of the man gave him head and he even nut or whatever and you were turned off by it and then the moment you got dumped by somebody you said you know what let me go figure it out and girl no you ain't finna be taking my energy you ain't finna be getting your energy damaged and then come sucking some of my energy bitch no I'm stopping that shit right then and there and that's what Molly ass is trying to do and I'm not here for it I'm glad Chad fiance broke up with him cause he look garbage he always started some shit and always slurping on some shit and looking around I'm glad you got your ass counsel now the conversation between Chad um, Tiffany's husband I thought that he was gonna be having some gay shit going on this season he did not can we get some gay shit we gonna get to that because Issa 
I'm gonna cuss you the fuck out. We got two more episodes, and I don't know shit about Ahmad. The only thing I know about your motherfucking brother on this motherfucking show is that he's queer, he has a white boyfriend, and his ass can't read. And every time we see him, he's fucking angry and dragging. Like, we have more than that. Now, I understand. I can't trust you motherfuckers telling our goddamn story. And for you motherfuckers that was on Twitter talking about stuff, uh, I should be able to tell the story. Bitch, I don't trust y'all ass either. Y'all got a whole entire goddamn platform. And don't talk about queer shit. Bitch, y'all can't even talk about having queer sex. Y'all got queer people on motherfucking shows and all these other shit, but don't even talk about queer shit. It's a heterosexual show with queer people on it. Get that shit together. I'm good, sis. But we don't know shit about a mod. And that's trash. But going back to the conversation between them, Chad and um, Lawrence talking, and Lawrence talking about some that Issa ain't no hoe, but she did whole shit. Nigga, you walk around with the cloud, and you talking about some what Issa did. Nigga, you out here, like, you were not getting your shit together. That's why she wasn't interested, because you were laying on the damn couch. Now all you doing is fucking women on the couch, because you still the same person. You just stood up on your two knees. But I don't think you completely got your shit together because you don't think you got your shit together, which is why you thought to yourself, like, I can't be doing this shit at 30 something years old, fucking, and going to work. Now, society tells us that's what we shouldn't be doing, but if that's something that makes you happy to continue doing it, that's what you think your life is. But if you want love and shit, you gotta do more than what you're doing and fucking folks that you meet for the first time, Lawrence. And girl, like, sis, you out here doing, like, I, I just don't, I, I don't understand. But you know what? I know what Lawrence is doing. Lawrence is out here taking pussy energy from these damn women that he's having one night stands from. And I'm telling you who gonna tell you this shit good, Miss Aisha Grains. If y'all not gonna follow her ass and have her information, girl, she is the pussyologist. She gonna tell you everything, honey. She's the one who has told, who has said so many times, people need to listen to understand, not listen to respond. And that's my shit. I've taken and received it. Give y'all take out, check out Miss Queen Bane. Tell her I sent y'all, I got her information, girl. She knows about pussy. Astrology, like get y'all pussies in order, like women, ownership, power, all of that shit, bitch. Ooh, she be talking some good shit. We know that Nathan Ass is in jail. We know that um, the investigation is over with. Nathan Ass is in jail. Um, EC is pissed off because Nathan has spoke to the investigator before he even spoke to her, which tells me Nathan Ass is in jail. Ooh, but what if she she been on two days with Nathan? She been on one or two days with Nathan. Now, what if she go burn him out of jail, and they end up? being together. Ooh, bitch, I'm gonna be ready to receive that story. Kelly is ready to drag everybody, I don't blame her. Like, them going to the baby shower for um Miss Tiffany, honey, aka Tamar. <laughs> I enjoyed that because Tiffany said, girl, I got some friends and my friends got babies and shit and they're mothers. What about y'all? Cause y'all ain't no damn mothers. So it's weird when you see your friends got friends and shit, but y'all have been doing Tiffany like that a little bit. So Tiffany said, girl, I got my own shit and these girls showed up on time, time and y'all showed up late with a cocked ass um, diaper. So sometimes we just got to outgrow folks and we need to move on and find some other shit. But it just seems like their friendship was that damn um, tower of diapers tipping over. It was leaning over to the left. There, oops, there goes our trust walking out the window, tipping over. And that's just what it is. I think Tiffany sees that she just like her. We cool, but like I know that I need other folks. So Kelly. I understood where Kelly was coming from because Kelly was just like, I should not be mad at the fact that her bringing a child in is kind of taken away from me. And Kelly confronted Tiffany and said, why did you not let me do it? And she was like, well, Tiffany was like, trashly said, that's because you don't, you don't, you're not a mother, you have no kids. And that's disrespectful. That's like, she act like she was asking her to do some other type of shit. Like, girl, a baby shower? Bitch can look that shit up on Pinterest. Like, that Kelly, I'm glad you cussed her ass out. I'm glad you told the girl, if you don't take these goddamn um, <laughs> Gladys Knight cookies, <laughs> these Gladys Knight cupcakes on the midnight train to Georgia, Kelly is every fucking thing. I love me some goddamn Kelly. She's so damn funny and everything, but we don't know nothing about her too. Girl, y'all don't like to talk about none of our ass, don't you? You don't like to talk about queer people. You don't like to talk about the thick folk. What y'all gonna keep talking about? Light-skinned nigga and this nigga with no mustache. Lawrence around here looking like he had been through Chernobyl or some shit with this Russian roulette mustache. If you don't grow that shit back, I know something. Like I said, we have two more episodes of Insecure Left and I have so many questions. We don't know shit about Amar other than he has a white husband, white boyfriend. Y'all doing a trash. I'm disappointed and insecure with this shit. This is like... 
Y'all don't even have him on the goddamn show. And then y'all have a fucking heterosexual person playing this motherfucking character. I don't have time for this bullshit. Move it on. Um, other stuff. Next episode, I need to know why the fuck everybody going over Andrew House or whatever the boy name is. Um, Molly, y'all got to tell me that. Hopefully Molly get her should get shit together and find some real, real, like, some companionship. Because she looking for the shit in the wrong place. She can't even find companionship in the damn workplace with the folks she work with. Girl out here trying to be nice to her, tell about her relationship, but she don't want to hear the shit. Molly, you are your own worst enemy. That's why you can't find shit. Because you stand in your own damn way. I bet that's some damn irony for your ass. But this was a cute, you know, Insecure is giving us this good 30 minute shit. You know, I don't really think we need an hour. I think Issa is doing a good job of getting the shit compiled in 30 minutes. Um, what's gonna happen next episode? What's gonna happen for the season finale? What's gonna fuck us? I don't know. Are we gonna see more Daniel? We're gonna know about Lawrence, but I told Adrian, as a matter of fact, I said this on Foot the Culture Podcast. We're gonna find out a little bit more about Lawrence and what he's been doing over time, and it's exactly what they gave us. Cute. That YouTube fucking skit shit um, web series stuff is coming to hand um, for you, Easton. It's doing a good job. You told the fuck out this story and it's good. I just want some queer representation. Y'all don't have one queer character on the show. And we don't know shit about him other than he has a white man. That seems to be a lot of shit that we see 24-7 on all types of TV. All types of film and everything. But I appreciate you as a um, cis heterosexual woman. I appreciate you for trying to be somewhat of an ally. That's all I got. I told you I was going to drag East if she don't get the shit together. But we'll see because I'm going to have a dirt East if she don't get the shit together. I love y'all. Tell me what y'all think. Check out kingofreeze.com. Make sure you're checking out the newest episode of For the Culture Podcast coming out this Wednesday. And I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye. Bye, bitch.